What's cracking guys, it's Steve here. So here is how this incredible illusion is done. Now when I say incredible, it's super cool because the gimmick is just as fun. If you haven't figured it out yet, all this is, is a duplicate card on the back with, attached with elastic string and it just shoots back into place. And what comes off is just a black sticker, okay? And when you turn it around, it looks like a completely normal card. Now I am going to help you construct one of these gimmicks and if you haven't noticed, this is a black art principle, okay? So you do need to have a black background, whether it's your shirt or however you're doing it on Instagram or Facebook. So it's just a little cut hole in one card, another one attached with elastic string, now let's learn how this thing works. All right guys, so what you need first is two duplicate face playing cards. I'll explain in a moment why you need to use face cards. So take one of them, and then you need a one inch hole punch. And basically what you do is you punch a hole right at the top of the card, just like that. Now once you've got the hole in one of the cards, you need to take the other one and place it behind, and make sure, in this case here, the spade Okay, so that spade right there matches this one here. So you place it over the top and see if it matches. Now you're probably wondering, well it's going to match. Well it actually doesn't. If you flip it around, you can see that it's not quite flush. Okay? And I don't know why it does that, but it's just how they're printed. So make sure you flip it around and you've got the right side that will match that spade perfectly. So when you look at it, it creates the illusion that it's just one card. Now once you've got the side that matches, you want to take it and you want to cut this card in half. However, I'm going to put up on the screen exactly where you need to cut. So just for reference, you need to cut just over halfway. So in this case here, this is the side that we need. So I need to cut just down there. And then I need to hold on to this one and just get rid of the other piece. We don't need that one. So now if you place it behind, you can see that it matches perfectly there. And if you flip it over, it looks like one card on the back as well. Now the next step's a little bit fidgety. So what you want to do is you want to square the cards flush together. So you've got the little one or the cut card on the back. Keep the cards flush because now you need to take a safety pin and be very careful when you do this and you want to punch four holes. One here, that corner there, and just at halfway, but make sure you're punching a hole through the other card as well. Okay, so keep the cards flush, like that. And then you wanna punch a hole here, here, there, and there, along the line. Okay, so once you've punched the holes through both cards in the four corners, you need to take some of this stuff here. It's actually elastic thread. And a lot of all the things that I'm using, the hole punch, the elastic thread, you can purchase from your local office supply store. If not, just check out eBay. It'll definitely be on there. I'll leave some links in the description where you can find them. Okay, so once you've got your elastic thread, this part takes a little bit of patience. Basically, you're gonna thread that piece of thread through those two holes, go around, down through the other holes, back out, and back out the front here. And then tie it up, and then snap it off, okay? And then you're gonna do the exact same on this side. So you start here, thread it through, all the way around, thread it back through the other side, all the way into a loop. So you wanna loop both sides, because when you pull it down and release, it's just gonna shoot back up, okay? So let's do that. All right guys, so I've done one side with the elastic thread. And so, so far you should have one loop going in, out the other side through here. So I've done one side, now we've just got to loop it through this side right there. Once you're at this point here, you should have elastic thread gone through here, through to the other side, and tied up into a knot here in a loop. You should have it here on the other side. Now you're at this point here, the cut card that is behind we now need to cut it one more time. Here is where you need to cut. You need to cut along the edge of the white, which is right there. It just needs to be cut right down there. And you need to cut the white border off the other side, just like that. And there's a good reason for that. It's because when you pull the gimmick back, you won't flash with the gimmick going 
either side. Okay, so that's your gimmick constructed. Isn't that cool? It's like, it's the coolest thing to play with. All right, so that's your gimmick. All you need now is to take one of these black dots and stick it on the gimmicked card on the back. Now you want to put it in the position that matches the dot on the other side, or sorry, the hole on the other side, okay? So it want, you want it to keep it flush on that side as well. And that is your gimmick fully constructed. Now let's get into how we perform and the handling of this awesome gimmick. All right guys, before we get into the handling, this part is super important. Why? Because you can see on the back side, this is actually the black dot here. You can see on the sticky side, I've actually rubbed half of the dot onto my shirt like this. There's a good reason for it because you don't want the whole sticky side to be sticky because when you pull it off the card, it just makes it impossible if it's just stuck there. Okay, so this part, I cannot stress enough, is super important. So you just wanna rub half of the sticky side onto your shirt like that and then it unsticks that part there, okay? All right guys, so here is the handling. Basically what you want to do is obviously you got your spectators in front of you. You need to be wearing black clothes because of the black art principle, okay? And so you have the card in this position set and ready to go. Now you can have it inside your pocket if you want to or you can just bring it out like that. You want to put your finger in there to show there's a hole. Then you wave your hand behind it as an extra convincer, okay? This is all about timing. As you flip, when it's at a 45 degree angle, you let it go and turn it all the way around, okay? And so I'll do that again. You wanna hold it in position there, and then you put your finger in there to show that it's just a normal hole, wave your hand behind it, make sure your body is right behind the card with a black shirt, and then all you do when it's on a 45 degree angle is you let it go, okay? And in speed, it looks like this. Put your finger in, show that it's completely an empty hole, and then you turn it just like that. And just from here, you hold the two cards together, and it's just a simple fact of peeling off the dot. And then you can show both sides, and that is exactly how you perform this incredible illusion. It's so much fun. Have fun with it. So I really hope you enjoyed that video, but it is giveaway time. So I'm gonna give away three pre-made gimmicks with refills and supplies, so that if it breaks, you can keep doing it over and over again. Here's what you need to do. You need to be a subscriber, obviously. You need to follow me on Instagram, like this photo, and the winner will be announced on the 10th of June on Instagram, okay? I hope you enjoyed that content. I will be back next week. Until next time, have a good week. Bye-bye.